Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to 6 News. So today we've got a trailer for the new in-game event for Rainbow Six Siege which is called Containment and it's going to start tomorrow, August 3rd. So let's watch the trailer and then we'll go in depth on it. Conspiracy theorists are spreading wild rumors online, alleging that strange lights were spotted at the consulate. As you can see though, everything is just... to worry about. Everything is perfectly normal. Now back to Polly in the studio. So there we go guys. It looks really freaking cool. So this is going to run from the 3rd of August to the 24th. So that's three weeks. And it's going to be teams of five. And of course one team is the monsters and one team is Rainbow Six in the bit pretty much the extraction outfits with the yellow and black color scheme. Of course, paid packs will play a massive part in this, so we'll see that tomorrow when it launches. And the description of the video also says that this is all about destroying infected nests or protecting them at all costs. So of course, if you're Rainbow Six going in, you want to destroy the nests, and if you're the monsters, you want to try and keep the nests alive. So let's quickly break down the trailer and the gameplay that we see. So we start with this helicopter view of the consulate and it looks very normal. And then we actually switch to the infected version and we see that there's these uh, parasites coming out on top. They do say on the description for this video that it is actually the Chimera parasite. So it is a continuation of the outbreak kind of lore, I guess, in a way. And the idea with Rainbow Six Extraction is that basically, as you try and destroy this parasite, it evolves and it gets more and more intelligent and more deadly and, you know, all the, all the bad things, basically. And then we have this beautiful transition for the Rainbow Six logo coming out to be parasite -y. And then some close-ups of one of the aliens there, along with a confirmation of the actual time, August 3rd to the 24th. Then it goes in and we get Ace, who still can't wear his mask correctly. But he's also got another mask on top of it with the, uh, of course, the plastic visor now. So he's double masked and finally COVID safe, I guess. But uh, still can't wear his mask right. Then, of course, this is inspired by Rainbow Six Extraction. I think, of course, this is an advert for Rainbow Six Extraction, basically. But they've definitely gone with it in a very cool way. So... I am actually hyped to play this event. Then we get a close up of one of the hostiles and damn, they ugly. Now, I do wonder, are these gonna be part of the paid pack? Because of course we're gonna get the outfits for the Rainbow Six operators. So the black and yellow, that is definitely gonna be in the paid packs, I would expect. But will these be in the paid packs? I can totally see that being added in and definitely being a thing. But it would be nice if they weren't as well. I expect they're going to be in there. That's my kind of guess right now. But that's because I'm being pessimistic about it, I think. And we actually begin to see some gameplay features. So we've got Ace here. He's got his usual weapon. And he's putting out rounds into one of the hostiles. And they are tanking it. It is actually physically hitting them. And they are not dying. So I am wondering if you know these eight enemies are basically going to be able to tank a good chunk of rounds also is the respawns like what is going to be you know is it going to be still be a one shot headshot but as well that is clearly jaeger right that is definitely the shape of his body and everything and you can get that clear sense of his big ear cuffs there so i think that's jaeger that's actually getting shot at and of course jaeger famously died in outbreak if you were unable to save him so yeah and then we get to see two other hostiles I was kind of thinking maybe Malusi, and I don't know about the other one. I've kind of got a Kaid kind of feel or a Maestro maybe, but just have to wait and see. Of course, it doesn't really matter who they actually are because their abilities in the game appear to be that of Oryx. They can blast through walls and they can also get up via hatches, but they also have a special melee as well, which is still a knife and it's you know pretty much exactly the same animation, but it's this glowing red very deadly looking knife type shaped thing 
and then we see Amaru in her black and yellow inspired gear. Of course, I would doubt she's going to be an extraction because probably not the most useful gadget to have a grapple. Although I guess actually maybe maybe not. Maybe it should be really good if you could use it inside. So maybe that's not so bad. Then we get this other hostile here again. I'm not entirely sure who this is. Those kind of shapes do look somehow familiar to an operator, but I just can't pinpoint it. Like the goggles, the eyes, definitely there's something there that is reminding me of definitely someone, but I'm not sure. Of course, there is leaks for all of this stuff, but I've tried to stay kind of as far away as I can. Then we actually get to see some operators destroying one of the nests. This appears to be kind of down in the server area. And yeah, they are successfully taking the nest out. I think that's either IQ or Ella on the right hand side. Can't be entirely sure. But yeah, they are destroying a nest. And then we see the hostiles all running through the basement. And it looks very scary. I'm looking forward to just being the monsters in this mode. We get to see some more of their abilities. So, of course, going up via the hatches, just like Oryx, they appear to just be basically monster versions of Oryx in there. And, of course, can actually tank some rounds as well. And then the camera zooms along this corridor to two of our operators holding it down. And again, I thought that was Ella from the head, but that's clearly a German flag, so I think that's IQ. And yeah, pretty damn cool visuals. And of course, like I said, they can bust through walls as well. And then there is Blackbeard. Not sure his gun shield is going to be any freaking use in this mode, considering there doesn't appear to be any projectiles that we can see that are going to get shot at him. Although that is a good question. Are our operators actually going to have any of their normal gadgets? We do see one gadget actually go off and it's a claymore, which actually kills no one. So either they tank that and, you know, reduced health or something from, from it. But yeah, I don't know if they actually have their abilities. So that is pretty damn cool. And this is actually the other shot earlier from the corridor, but we're looking at it from a different point of view and we can see that definitely is IQ there with Ace actually helping her cover that corner on the other side. And uh, yeah, we zoom out at the final and there is our transformed consulate looking very spooky. This is definitely giving me Halloween vibes for sure. But that is our brand new event. It'll start tomorrow. Um, like I say, from the gameplay we've seen, it looks like our operators are in there. Doesn't look like they have their main gadgets, but they'll have claymores and stuff. And the hostiles, which will be playable, they are basically are Oryx and all tanked up. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And yeah, can't wait. Cannot wait to jump into this. All right, guys, I'm very hyped. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.